We're going to show how to pan steam vegetables. For this uh, demo, I chose broccoli. It's one of my favorite veggies. Make sure that we cut the broccoli on equal sizes so they all cook at the same time. If you happen just to cut a bunch of little florets and big ones, this will cook before this bad boy right here. Uh, make sure you wash your broccoli, uh, drain it well, and then cut it to size. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go, we're gonna pan steam the broccoli. We're gonna, we're gonna use two techniques steaming and uh, in the pan not in a steamer we're going to go ahead and place the broccoli in a saute pan place your broccoli in a pan turn it to high heat i want to add some water in the bottom of the pan not too much because i i want to use the water that the broccoli has been steamed as a sauce at the end of the cooking process. So that way any vitamins or any uh, flavor that the broccoli will leach into the water, I'll be still using it into my finished dish. I'll start with a little bit of water in the bottom. For this size pan, it's about three ounces of water. Crank it to high heat and we're gonna put a lid on it. As soon as I, can, I see the steam coming from the sides of the pan, I'm going to check my, uh, my broccoli. Uh, I got some steam coming from the sides of the, uh, the lid. Please be careful when you lift your lid. Don't lift your lid towards your arm because the steam will come to your arm. That's why we have chef jackets that have long sleeves to protect your arms. Whenever you lift your lid, please do it away from you so the steam can go away. It's nice and bright and green. I'm just checking right now the water at the bottom. You can see the water is almost dry. My broccoli, the way I test my broccoli is I get my tip of my prairie knife into the broccoli stem and I can sense and feel the broccoli. It's still a little bit on the crunchy side, just a little bit more water in there. If you let the water dry, your broccoli will start to become crunchy and we're not looking for a saute, we're looking for a nice steam in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of water, I'm gonna let it go for a couple more minutes. We check again for our broccoli. At this point, it's the exact way out as I want. There's still a little bit of water in the bottom, perfect. I'm gonna finish my broccoli. Usually, you finish it with just whole butter. I have this beautiful garlic compound butter and I'm gonna add it into my broccoli so I can make a little sauce also out of it. Stir gently, you do not want to bruise your broccoli. So you can see right now, the little bit of water left over is playing nicely with the butter. I like to shake my pan, so it kind of forms an emulsion. My butter was seasoned, but my broccoli is not. Always has to be seasoned, a little bit of salt. A couple of pinches of salt in the past has proven the right mix for my uh, broccoli. And of course, black pepper, one of my favorite all-time seasonings. Broccoli is ready to plate. Be gentle with your broccoli, you do not want to bruise it. Sorry if I'm giving you the other side of the pan. And this is your pan steamed broccoli, which we have finished with a compound butter, but you can easily just finish it with plain butter, will be just as fine. Hope you enjoy it.